We've come to Sunderland Stadium of Light because it's hard to visualize the magnitude of what has happened. There's no crash site, no ground zero. But in the course of nine months, 50,000 people have lost their lives to COVID-19, enough to fill every chair in this stadium and a thousand more. This microscopic killer has terrorized us. It's taken loved ones before their time. It's disrupted our daily lives so profoundly, we rarely get a moment to reflect on the scale of what's happened, that each of these seats and more is an empty chair in someone's home. The stadium stands in a city that's had a high case rate. South Tyneside and Sunderland's NHS Trust has reported over 400 deaths. Fiona Anderson was one. 48 years old, her family say she contracted the virus doing what she loved, nursing. Her father was also infected and hospitalised, but he recovered and was discharged the day before Fiona died. Her sister Sarah says the loss is immeasurable. For us, she died in service. She, she was working for her, the health service. She was working on behalf of her country. It's been six months now um, and I still feel frustrated by everything and, and by what's going on in the world. But I don't think I'll ever come to terms to the loss of my sister. Deaths among under 40s have been rare, but still in the hundreds. Teenagers and even younger are among them. But it's the elderly and those with existing health problems who've had years of their lives stolen. 76-year-old Sylvia Griffiths died in a Sunderland care home. Her daughter Deborah believes the size of the UK's death toll could have been avoided. It shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have got to 50,000. We were starting to get this under control with the lockdown. And here we are yet again. What do you think went wrong? There's various things went wrong. Lack of PPE, the government guidance wasn't clear. I think people were confused. 111, the testing system, the, the track and trace, which clearly hasn't worked as it was supposed to do. We pass this dreadful milestone in a week that has given hope that we may soon have a vaccine and these seats will be filled once again and we can celebrate life. Jason Farrell, Sky News.